The latest in the Derek Chauvin trial earlier today, newly released security video was shown showing the moments leading up to George Floyd's death. It was also marked by more intense and emotional testimony. Jay Gray in Minneapolis has the latest. I'm going to have you identify this individual here. Uh, George Floyd. Okay. Previously unseen security video showing George Floyd just minutes before his fatal confrontation with police. I just saw him as another customer. Christopher Martin, a cashier at the Cup Food Store, describing the situation, telling jurors Floyd seemed, quote, high during a brief conversation. It was Martin who took what appeared to be a counterfeit $20 bill from Floyd as he paid for a pack of cigarettes. When I um, saw the bill, I noticed that it had a blue pigment to it, kind of how a $100 bill will have, and I found that odd, so I assumed that it was fake. It was that exchange that ultimately led a manager at the store to call police. Martin, who had asked Floyd twice to come back into the store to discuss the situation, was outside as things escalated. I saw people yelling and screaming. I saw um, Derek with his knee on George's neck on the ground. It will be the truth and nothing but the truth. Charles McMillan saw it too. <laughs> overcome with emotion as police body cam video is played during his testimony so upset the judge calls for a short break <laughs> oh my God. For those who have witnessed this crime, whether by video or in person, that that trauma is being revisited as this trial plays out. Scars that will likely continue to be revealed over the next few weeks here. There was another extended pause in the trial today when a juror who felt ill told the judge she hadn't been sleeping and that she was dealing with tension. She declined medical attention and said she'd be fine to continue. Jay Gray, NBC News, Minneapolis. And tomorrow night at 7, we have a closer look at the death of George Floyd and the trial of Derek Chauvin. It is part of our next Front Row, a Turning Point special. We'll take a deeper dive into the long history of police relations, the problems, and possible solutions. Once again, you can catch that tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right here on Channel 3.